Hi, in this video I will show you how you can create a Polaroid with image of your choice using GIMP and the GIMMICK plugin. Last video that I did was an overview video of this plugin, you can find it in my channel. Also I have two tutorials, one in GIMP and one in Inkscape where I show how you can create a Polaroid uh, from scratch. I'll include links in the description if you want to watch those videos. With one of the filters of the GIMMICK plugin this is very fast and easy. There is a slight problem with the shadow but I'll show you a quick way to fix that. So let's get started. First thing you see here I created a simple background and then I opened this image as a layer. Before I select the plugin I need to make sure I have the image layer active. Then I'll go to filters and select the GIMMICK plugin. Then I'll go to artistic, scroll down and select Polaroid and the options here are pretty easy to understand and use. I'm going to change some of them for the X shadow I'm going to type a number. Also I'm going to change the setting for the Y shadow and then I'm going to adjust the smoothness and last I'm going to adjust this option a little bit here. And in the preview here you can see how this affected the image. The next thing I need to do is just apply. And then I'm going to close the plugin. And you can see the problem with the shadow that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to zoom in with the control key and mouse wheel. And you see how the shadow ends here. It doesn't make a smooth transition towards transparency but this is pretty easy to fix I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to select this tool select by color then I'm going to adjust the threshold to the maximum of 255 and then I'll just click on the image after that I'll go to the select menu and select shrink and here I'm going to type 50 pixels but this number depends pretty much on the size of the image so you can use another number here then I'll click OK. Then I'll go again to the select menu and this time I'll select uh, the feather option. And again I'm going to use 50 pixels. Click OK to apply the effect. Then I'll go again to the select menu and this time select the invert option or you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl I. And then I'll just hit the delete key. Then Ctrl Shift A to deselect or you can use the select menu select none and now as you can see the shadow looks a lot better so you see that with this filter it's pretty easy to create a polaroid with an image of your choice options are pretty easy to understand and use but like i said if you want to learn how to create this from scratch check out the links that i put in the description and that's it for this tutorial i hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like the video that's it for now bye